Before I show you how to publish your website, we need to understand what is a web server. As an illustration, if we double click the index file, it will open the file in the default browser. What we see is the content area without the navigation bar and the footer. This is because partials are added to the main document on the server. When I click the view and browser button in Wappler, the browser sends an HTTP GET request to Wappler's built-in server. The HTTP server requests the file from the file server which has detected server side includes. The file is sent to the application server which processes the request and returns an HTML file as an HTTP response. The browser then receives the HTTP response. There is a slightly different process for static files like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, XML, JSON and PDFs. These files do not find their way to the application server. They go straight back to the HTTP server as an HTTP response which then goes to the browser. What is shown here is a very simple web server being able to process a GET request. This type of server allows us to develop static websites with server-side includes. The problem is, if we want more functionality and user interaction, we need to have much more than that. Take a simple contact form that needs to be emailed. This requires a mail server based on server-side code. Here we see a server functionality that Wappler's inbuilt server does not have. What we need is called a full-stack server. Basically, a full-stack server follows the same architecture. The main difference is the addition of a database and functionality of the application server. The type of application server is dependent on the server model. The server model is a choice from PHP, Node.js, ASP.NET or Classic ASP. Please note that this is a simplified explanation of, what is a server?